Hello friends, um, welcome to this quick tutorial about how to install your HP OfficeJet 4500 wireless printer. Um, I got this printer this evening and I was confused about how to get this printer uh, installed wirelessly so that all my computers, everybody in the family can print using the wireless printer. Now I thought that installing it on one of the devices wirelessly would mean that anybody else would then be able to use the printer for scan, fax or even print. Well, but that's not true. What you need to do first is when you get the printer, you need, you know, after you've unboxed the printer and connected all the cables and cartridges, you would need to, con you would need to connect the printer to one of the computers or your Mac and install it using the wire, the printer wire, the USB cable that connects your computer to the printer. So you would need to do the first installation using one of the cabled connections. So the first installation has to be a cable connection and with the help of the CD that you get with the printer, you would need to install it on one of the machines. Now this machine is the second machine that I'm creating this video on. And on this machine, when I went to install the printer, when I went to actually use the printer, it wouldn't allow me. And the reason is very simple. Every machine that you want to use the printer on, you would need to install the software or the drivers. Now it's very easy to find the drivers. Uh, if, if you have a CD, if you have a CD drive in your computer or the laptop, you can quickly insert the CD drive and install the softwares. Otherwise, I'll show you a quick um, tutorial on how to do this. What you would need to do is go to hp.com and then click on support and drivers. From the support and drivers, you would need to, you, if you see at the top, there's a button, there's a search button, you just type 4500 wireless. And then the search will show you all the options for your wireless. Um, so you would basically need to select your printer, which is the 4500 wireless all in one. And then it takes you to the printer page. You click on software and driver downloads. And then you select your operating system. Mine is Windows 7 64 bit and I click on next. And then it would show me, you know, what options I want. And I go to the print and scan driver. Um, well, I've pasted the link at the bottom of this video in the description. So if you just want a direct link, you can click on that link and you'd come to this page from where you can download this driver. Um, now, once you've downloaded the driver, you would need to install the driver. It's a very base, you know, it's a very basic, you know, uh, installation. You, there's not much to ask. It will ask you for a couple of, uh, you know, settings. It will ask you to accept the agreement, which, which you need to say yes. And then it would ask you of what kind of connection you want. You would need to click on wireless and then go one step at a time and it will show you how it will basically install the printer for you. If you need uh, assistance on step by step installation of the software or the driver, uh, you can click on another link in the description and that, that video will show you step by step installation of the software. Now, once you've installed the software successfully, you would see that when you go to your computer, the printer would be listed uh, under your computer, um, sorry, under your network. It would be listed under your network and when you right click, it would say uninstall, which means that it is properly installed. Um, the best way to test it is go to start and click on Windows Fax and Scan. And then when the Fax and Scan comes, you can just click on New Scan, place a paper, any, you know, anything, a photo or, some, or a document on the scanner, click on New Scan and it, it should connect with your uh, with your HP Office Jet, and you can do a preview and a scan to make sure that it's working. It's working in my case because I can hear the noise, and uh, of course I would be seeing the uh, the preview of the scan that I have just done on my screen. So that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you didn't waste time in installing the wireless uh, drivers for for the HP Office Jet 4500 like I did. But I um, and I seriously hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, thanks for watching this video, and if you like my channel, please click on subscribe. Thank you.